Hello guys and welcome back to another video here on the Dave Goodger FM channel. My name's Dave and you join me for episode 2 of the Trophy Hunter save where we are going and attempting to win every single English domestic trophy going. So League 2, League 1, Championship, Premier League, Carabao Cup, FA Cup and Papa John's Trophy. We have started in League 2. We have started with Port Vale. And last time out, we saw us go through pre-season. We got through pre-season and we got to the beginning of the season. This video out, we're going to recap the um, the month of August. Uh, go through transfer deadline day and also play the Papa John's game against the Liverpool under-23s. So let's jump into it and see how we've been getting on. As we see here, we are Port Vale. Uh, Tactic-wise, we have... Uh, we've sort of bastardised the 4 2 three, one. Uh, it's a 4 one, one, three, one. Um, asymmetric uh, with full backs overlapping the wingers uh, on either side ball winning midfielder on the opposite side to a ball playing defender box to box midfielder on the same side as that advanced playmaker on the same side of the ball winning midfielder um, and then the advanced forward being backed up by the back box to box midfielder out of the way of the advanced playmaker so they're not crossing over each other's path. It seems to have worked quite well. Uh, in the month of August, as we said, we started off here, opened up with a game against Northampton. And this was a game, as I said, it was the opening game of the season. We'd made uh, a couple of uh, last minute changes in there, brought in uh, Ricky J. Jones from Peterborough on loan. He'd done really well. And it was a long ball that outdoes at first. Itete from the edge of the distance with an absolute belter. On 18 minutes, Worrell pulls it back to Conlon and then Harriman, the right back, hits his own rocket into the roof of the net. Just before the half hour, Ricky J. Jones brings his own belter into play there. Only last, lead only lasted a couple of minutes though before Kambamba uh, strolls through unmarked into the uh, there. And then just before half time though, Idozi, who is on loan from Man City, bends one into the far post. And that was it until the 85th minute when, uh, yeah, bundled uh, one of their players over and finishes 3 3. Probably a fair result. We had more possession. They had the more and better chances. So I'm happy enough with the performance with that one. It was an opening day fixture. Anything could have happened. After that, we were Tranmere in the Carabao Cup. This was uh, a very high scoring game. Just before half time, Ricky J. Jones gets his second in two games. Didn't last long though. Again, still before half time. Duffy. Arrow like into the bottom corner there. Straight after half time though, Elise with a knockdown to Idozi, his second in two. They weren't finished though. Tranmere came back at us again and Duffy fires one too powerful for Kovalan in goal to hold on to. Uh, but then we kind of took over. Harriman on the right, bit some space, pulls it over, falls back to uh, Asgard to knock it in. Pep with a corner. Far side, Elise off the crossbar to Harriet to tap in at the back post. And then with 20 to play, falls all the way over to Pet, firing it in. Again, that wing play working really, really well for us. Getting out wide, getting past their man and swinging those crosses in. Seems to be working really well for us. Totally deserved performance, to be honest. Totally deserved result. Uh, we had more chances. We had the better XG. We had more possession. Um, yeah, they, they, they pulled us back a couple of times, but quality won out in the end. And yeah, a, a very nice and uh, comfortable win in the end. A few days after that, we had Tranmere again, this time at home in the league. This again was a same formation, same 11, and pretty much the same result. Cross comes in, doing, palms it down, down to Pet, who fires it into empty net. Connor with a corner. Far post and Zuma, not that one from West Ham, 
back post header, and then Harriet on the left, swinging it all the way over. Worrell lays it off to Ricky J. Jones to get his third in three games. He's really hit the ground running with us here. Not as high scoring as the cup game, but just as comprehensive. More chances, bigger XG, more, most possession. A thoroughly well-deserved victory again. After Tranmere, the back-to-back -back against Tranmere, we were at home again. This time it was Carlisle and we tasted our first defeat of the season. Again, same 11. The, the, the holding out, the, the fitness is working okay. This was a, a, a bitter pill to take though. Um, the first half was a very tense affair. Not a lot happened at all. Into the second half, five minutes into the second half, Harriet with a long ball, Ricky J. Jones losing it, using his pace and firing it past the oncoming keeper, giving us the lead. Just before 20 minutes to go, exactly the same. Jones again using his pace and from the narrowest of angles, firing it in. 2-0 with 20 to play. Should be fine. Except 10 minutes to play. Corner for Carlisle. Eight minutes later, Mampala strolls straight through. The men just leave him alone. 2-2. Two, two. We've not done though. Mason Smith, he's been onto the pitch for 30 seconds. Fires his back in front. But then Kovalon had an absolute brain fart, tries passing it to Elise, gives it to Mampala instead. And then in the 96th minute, forget the fact we're only supposed to be playing 94 minutes anyway, they uh, score two in the 96th minute. Despite the fact that Ref had said we were only supposed to be playing 94. <sighs> yeah, so. Two goals in in the last in the in the last minute, three goals in injury time, and six goals in the last ten well ten minutes of regulation last in the last fifteen. A bizarre, bizarre game, but we got what we deserved. They had more chances, we had more possession, but they had the better sh shots. So, yeah, it's a bit of pill to take. Bear in mind we took the lead again in the 92nd minute but it, it is what it is after Carlisle we were on the road this time it was Stevenage the same formation plays that that back four is going to be pretty much standard for what it is Dan Jones Elise who's on loan for West Ham uh, Zuma who was a free transfer and Harriman who cost me I think 20 grand um that, that that back four and that keeper is going to be pretty much standard through the season as long as fitness and uh, injuries allow. The first half was a very, very tense affair up until the last minute of the first half where Dan Jones from the spot. And then with 15 to play, Wilson has his penalty saved but pulls the rebound back to Harriet, And that was it. I mean, with this one, it was a very, very even game. Uh, we both had a high amount of shots. Ours were a little bit better quality ones. The XG sees that out. Um, and once again, we had the best of possession. Really happy with the amount of possession that we're having on this te this tactic. It, it's keeping the ball well, um, running it, and uh, keeping those possessions out up high. So we, we, we're doing well. Just the one loss, just the one draw. And we went then in the Carabao Cup second round, Harrogate Town away, Harrogate Town, another League Two side. I was happy with the draw. And and that kind of played out. Um, we progressed to round three. Fourth minute in, another back post header from uh, Johan Zuma from a free kick. On 20 minutes, Ricky J. Jones decided he's going to steal the show. From inside his own half, takes it through the entire team and fires it across the keeper. And then in the 92nd minute, Pet onto the long ball, takes a shot, saved, but falls to Ricky Jade, who gets his second of the game. Like I said, he has come here and he is scoring goals like mad. Which brings us back up today, apart from the last league game, which was Forest Green away. Forest Green were top of the table. And Ricky J. Jones has picked up an injury on this one. Uh, so Wilson, who has been 
uh, injured back fit again now he came in on 10 minutes they went down to 10 men for an absolutely vicious foul and Wilson marked his return to the team with an absolute peach then just before half time Richardson fires it over and Matt a good header uh, out jumps but then first minute after half time long long throw it's not let me just pause that there. That's not using the exploit. He has got 17 long throws. I'm using the player that is has got the long throws. It's not someone with 11 launching it halfway across the pitch. He, he's got... He can throw it. Um, but then, just before the hour, Matt, again, comes up against the keeper and dinks it over. Um, and that's how it finishes. It finishes 2-2. Again, it's not... Yes, they drop points... But I'm not concerned. These were top of the table. These were flying high. So that brings us bang up to date. As I said, uh, we are currently sitting ninth. Played five. Won two. Drawn two. Lost one. Forest Green now. Played five. Won three. Drawn one. Lost one. Tranmere, who we beat. Their only loss is against us. Played five. Won four. Lost one. So... Ricky J. Jones, four goals. He's topping the scar, topping the charts with uh, Matt J. There. So it's, a, it's been a good, good start. And now we have got the Liverpool under twenty threes in the Papa John Trophy. As God's away. So Tom Pett is coming in here. Can't get him in, so I may as well cancel that one here. Billy Burns is in. Who's going to take the place of Johnson? Okay, we've got some tired boys out there. Um, you know what? Burns, you're coming straight in. Because Zuma's tired. Zuma's tired. So Finley Burns is in there alongside Elise. That's going to have to do. Asgard is out. And Politic is in. Gibbons is coming in for Harriman. Give him a rest. Okay, we're good to go. Politics away, of course. Of course, he is. What did I bring him in? He's away on international duty. There we go. And we're good to go. Let's see how well we do against the Liverpool under 23s. Not expecting a great deal. They have got a very, very good youth squad. the first apparently we're favourites for a reason only the keeper believed it ok so Port Vale in the white Liverpool in the red and Port Vale attacking the goal two hour left Worrell Gibbons oh yes Conlon taking it on gets to the byline dings it back to Wilson oh, close 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 Okay, five minutes in. And we've not conceded. Bolton and Rochdale are the two other teams in our group. Dan Jones. Elise. Into Pet's feet. Out to Adozi. Swinging it over. Worrell picks it up. Fires it back. Oh, spilled by the keeper. Pet. Conlon. Still been recycled. Coming out wide again. Firing it in. What a finish. What a finish that was. 
Pet to Conlon. Conlon. Walker takes a 1 2, gets himself into space, takes a touch, and <laughs> fires that into the bottom corner there. And we'll take the lead on 20 minutes. Seem to be doing all right in the midfield, central midfield there. The, that partnership's working well. Coral Conlon, James Wilson, all the way out to a dozy. Dozy gets to the byline, pulls it back to Pet, takes it back over, takes a shot, and <laughs> there's two. There's two. A dozy. It's a great finish. The keeper got a hand to it, but couldn't keep it out. He done all the hard work getting to the byline, feeds it into Pet, and then goes for the return. Takes one touch to set himself and then bends it around the keeper. Keeper got a hand to it but couldn't keep it out. 2-0 on the half hour. Okay. Corner to Liverpool. No! No! Cubiento, who I looked at, said he was no good at heading. Of course he scores a headed goal. Of course he does. I don't know if he plays well, it might be worth bringing him in here. What's that guy on the post doing? He's supposed to head the ball when he's there. Okay, Gibbons with the throw. Wilson, Conlon on the edge, fires it. Oh, yes. <laughs> Two goal advantage extended once again. And there's that man Conlon with his second. Takes a touch and then fires it. Keep a despairing dive. You'll do. In Liverpool though, not giving up. 37th minute. Bradley to the byline, firing it over, but over the top. Port Vale goal kick. And that should see us through to half time, and it does indeed. The only concern is Worrell here on the right wing. He's not having the best of games. I might just need to have a look for some kind of replacement there. Because he's not been having his best. Let's bring Thomas on for the second half. Um, some form of inverted winger. Send them back out. And start in the second half. Liverpool now attacking the goal to our left. Walkman getting to the byline. Good block. Good tackle. Hey, three shots, three on target, three goals. Not bad. Not bad at all. Hey, Jones, that long throw again. Straight into the keeper's arms, though. Riding for water. Jones on the deck now, into a dozy. Lovely one two between the pair of them there on the left. Gets to the byline, pulls it in, and can we? Oh, Thomas pulls it back to no one. Gibbons recycles it though. Conlon over the top, not quite. Once again, that defender with no good at heading makes the headed clearance there. Might be. Oh, that's a good ball. That's a good ball, but he's blazed. Oh no, it's a good save from Kovalan. Good save from the Brazilian. Corner. And well claimed. Well claimed. Conlon's looking tired. Pet's looking tired. No one who can play that one though. Okay, playing out of the back. Burns, Gibbons. Okay, looks like they're starting to press a little bit more here. Good interception. Thomas. Wilson picks it up at the halfway line. Peck takes it over. Conlon looks for a dozy. He's got to the byline again. Fires it over to Thomas. Yes! <laughs> there we go. That's what we like to see. Again, byline, cutting it back. It's coming in as that inverted winger. Coming into the middle there. 
pulls it back and there he is, centre of the goal. Thank you very much. 4-1, just over 20 minutes to play. I'm getting some, I'm getting some tired legs out there admittedly, but Pet now on the left. Look for support, he's got it from Walker. Conlon, who's on a hat-trick. Finley Burns, Thomas into Conlon. Took the shot, took the shot but blocked. Okay, 15 to play. Granate. Liverpool playing it well and easy header. Let them take the headers from that kind of distance. They'll struggle there. Kumetio, who might well have another little play at him, see if we can bring him in. Good header away from Conlon there. So tired. Okay, Dan Walker come off. Gibson can come on there. Uh, Elise is tired. Elise is tired. Let's bring Nathan Smith on. Good, good defensive work again there. Dozy now, dispossessed. Oh, it's a good ball. Waltman, it's a great save from Conlon. Great save from Coverlin. Okay, corners to Liverpool. And away from Smith and carried on away from Thomas. Heading into the last five minutes, plus time added on. Uh, sitting on a 4-1 lead. All the way over Dixon Bonner. Fired it back in again and away by Burns. Pumped back in again by Liverpool. Norris with the shot and... It looked like it was heading top corner. Fizzled just wide. Oh, Dozy's injured. Doze is injured, that's not good. We can't make any more substitutions. So we're going to have to just shut down now. Um, take Pet out wide. Makes a nice minute. Gibson with the deep free kick. Keeper saves. 89th minute, we've got four minutes of time added on. We're down to 10 men because of injury. And away, well done. There's the 90 done, just the four minutes to survive. Granate with the shot, that's gone way over the top. Jones, long free kick, long free kick, long throw in, Conlon on the edge, dispossessed by Ritzhart, Waltman takes over. Okay, well one there. 92 and a half minutes done, minute and a half, 90 seconds left. We, we should be pretty much settled here, we've got a three goal advantage, if we, if we collapse here something's gone desperately wrong. Darren Gibson, 34-year-old Darren Gibson, patrolling that midfield now. The ball over the top. Well held by Coverland, though. Into the final minute. Launched. Oh, here they come again. And another easy one for Coverland to pick up. That's more time going to be uh, eked out of the clock. Another launch up, just to come straight back though. It's quite disappointing those kicks, considering we are on shorter passing and to play out of defence. And it's all over, it's all over. Liverpool under 23 is dispatched. Uh, yes, they had a lot of chances. Most of them were from distance from the outside of the area. Uh, and yeah, a really, really good performance against a good youth side. Um, well, that, that was a good win for us. 
for the next video to highlight um, and, and go through everything that's happened in September. Uh, hopefully we can keep this good run of form going. We have got Burnley in the Carabao Cup, so that's probably where our uh, Carabao journey is going to end. But as we've got to the third round, that's far more than the uh, than the board expected or or even wanted. Um, so yeah, I've been Dave. Thanks for watching. Please, as always, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Join me over on Twitch as well, Dave Goodger FM on Twitch, where I have got a, a an unemployed journeyman in South America save going on. Uh, currently in the Uruguayan First Division, um, so yeah, so come and join me on there and uh, hit me up, and we'll uh, we'll have a chat. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. -bye.